Welcome back. With us today is Dr. David Kostick, who is a board-certified ophthalmologist who actually has a very unique specialty, and he's going to tell us about that. And you are with the Florida Eye Specialist. That's correct, and thank you for having me. Well, welcome. Uh, tell us about w what this specialty is that you have, because it's hard to pronounce. It's actually, <laughs> tell us what it is. Well, it's ophthalmic plastic and reconstructive surgery, okay. or people say oculoplastic in short, so it's a subspecialty of ophthalmology. Okay, so basically that's being an, an ophthalmologist and a, a plastic surgery specialist as well, and you're combining them where you specialize specifically with the eye, right? That's correct. That's okay. what we do a lot of eyelid surgery, eye socket surgery, and tear duct surgery. Okay, and that's really interesting because you have so many, you know, board certified specialists that do so many different things. Tell us a little bit about your practice. Well, we're the Florida Eye Specialist, and that name actually means something to a specialist. So instead of just doing general ophthalmology, all the partners and all the physicians there had done additional training. Mm -hmm. So after ophthalmology, some have gone into glaucoma, coronary mm -hmm. factor surgery, and then what I do is with uh, oculoplastics in the eyelid, eye socket, eyebrow type of work, tear duct type of surgery. Okay. As, as you can tell, I just put my, my glasses on <laughs> because I have problems too. I should probably come see you on a different level. Um, but, you know, one of the things when we talk about the kind of specialty that you do, um, a lot of people at home don't realize this because if you're going to get plastic surgery done, one of the things that you want to ask is how many surgeries do you do, which I always have been told this is the way to handle it because if you have two doctors that you're deciding between, I guess it all depends if, if one doctor does maybe one or two a month or you have another doctor that does one or two of those a week. And that's one of the things we should all be asking, right, when we go to this? No, that's correct. The patient should feel very comfortable in asking those type of questions. And then for me, I've been doing this for 20 years, so I don't have an exact number. But even tomorrow, I have 11 eyelid surgeries and then an oblique compression taking care of patients with grave disease. So this is kind of what I do. I do a lot of day in, day out. So thousands and thousands of eyelid surgeries over the past, you know, couple decades. So you say that so quickly and so we're all at home going, what does he have to do? Okay, but you're going to do 11 separate eyelid surgeries on 11 right. different patients. Well, most patients have a couple eyelids, so oh, some okay. of them will do both. So some patients will have droopy eyelids where the, the eyelids cover the pupil, some people have excess skin, they don't like the appearance around their eyes, mm -hmm. the eyebrows may be low, and then for the patient with the Graves disease, their eyeballs are bulging, so we have to work on the bones or the eye socket around the eye. Okay, and, and that that's some kind of a um, a problem that I guess it's an autoimmune deficiency Correct. type of problem. It is an autoimmune okay. disorder where they get inflammation and it potentially can cause some vision problems so it's important to get that evaluated. But again both of these are basically cosmetic um, many right. times. Exactly. So okay. they can be either functional or cosmetic and most of those are reconstructive type of surgery after the inflammation is gone. Okay. Um, when, when someone's getting their eyelids done, which is what you're going to have uh, tomorrow, um, what, what goes into that? What do they do? Come see you for an initial consult? Right. It is, it's important to have the initial consult because what we're concerned about is the health of the eye to make sure you're a good candidate to have eyelid surgery. So everybody I see will get an eye exam, we'll look at the surface of the eye, make sure there's no reason why they wouldn't be a candidate. And then afterwards, and get ready for the surgery, our surgery is outpatient surgery, IV sedation, and then afterwards I like them to make the most important part of the highest priority of their life is just healing up from that surgery. Okay. You guys are at four different locations right. in the area. The one that I always see all the time is on 9A. Correct. Right. Um, but you have different ones as well, correct? So 9A, uh, Ponte Vedra Beach, we have Infernity Beach, and then it's Stockton and San Marco. Okay. And that, those are where your, your primary offices are. And then if someone needs that the surgery, or I know you don't specifically do glaucoma, but another one of your right. specialists does. Yeah. Where do you guys perform your procedures? The majority is at South Point Surgical Center off of Belfort Road. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like an independent surgery? Independent surgery. Multiple other physicians use that. Um, mm -hmm. It's hard to put a number on it, but even in our practice, we probably do 60 cataracts minimum a week. Mm -hmm. and between the other eye surgery, so it's a place that does a lot of eye and eyelid surgery. Now tell us a little bit ab ab about you personally, okay. because I think you have an interesting background. You've been in the Jacksonville area for, for 20 years? 20 years, correct. Um, so I came from a medical family, so I knew when I was early that I didn't want to go into medicine, because uh -huh. I saw how it took, and then later on I got a little bit you know, wiser and decided I wanted to go to medicine. Then I went to Tulane for medical school, the Cleveland Clinic for my ophthalmology residency, and the fellowship in the ophthalmic plastic reconstructive surgery. And then after that, I came down in 95 to join the Mayo Clinic and was on staff there for 16 years before I joined my colleague, Dr. Shetty, at the Florida Eye Specialist. Okay, so, oh, you were at Mayo for 16 years 16 before years. you went over. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So you have just a, a, a variety of different doctors there that specialize right. in different things. We basically have all parts of the eye covered. Yeah, you and really... Most people don't realize there's, you know, multiple specialties in ophthalmology alone. Okay. Well, listen, thank you so much. My pleasure. I think I probably need contacts. <laughs> what do you think? Be happy to help you out. <laughs> all right. Thank you, okay, doctor. Great. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye -bye. Pleasure. We'll see you next time. Okay.